Hello, P4 students. Welcome again in our science forecast. And again, this is Miss Claire. We are now on chapter 6. It talks about energy. In this video, you will learn two lessons. We have lesson 1, light, sound, and heat. And lesson 2, energy transfer. Are you ready to learn P4? Come on, let's start. So let's start with lesson 1, light, light sound, and heat. The learning aims for this lesson is to is to learn that energy is present in all matter and in sound, light, and heat, and to learn that energy is needed to make things move. For our chapter trigger, take a look on these two pictures, children. What have you observed between the two pictures of the chicken? In your science 3, you learn that the sun is the source of heat and light and that plants get their energy from light while animals get their energy from eating plants and or other animals, right? We have learned that one in our food chain. Now, what is one adjective for the raw chicken? Take a look on the picture on the top. What can you describe about this one? And also, how about the chicken at the bottom or the cooked chicken. What can you say? Now, if you have some answers in your mind, you can share that during our class. Okay, for our thinking cap, try to answer this question. I wonder why I feel warm when I stand near a lamp. Why do you think that we feel warm when we stand near a lamp? Okay, please share your answers during our class. Okay, let's continue for lesson one. So, all matter is made up of particles that are always moving. Energy is present in the moving particles. So, energy is present in all matter. So, energy is present all around us. Okay, take note on that. Okay, let's continue. Energy is present in light. The earth gets energy from the light of the sun. Light is the only energy that we can see. Take no children. Light is the only energy that we can see. So everything here, all the living things here on earth gets the energy from the sun. Okay. Energy is present in heat. Okay. The faster the particles move in an object, the more heat there is. So a hotter object has more energy compared to a colder object. The energy in heat can be used to keep us warm or cook our food. So anything that has heat, there is energy present on that. So again, our sun also children gives us heat. Next, energy is also present in sound. We can hear sounds all around us. When a sound is loud, there is more energy. When a sound is quiet, there is less energy. Energy can also make things move. When there is more energy, things will move faster than faster and farther. So take a look on this picture. So again, when there is more energy, things will move, of course, more faster or faster and farther. Children, the energy also is needed to push. So these are some examples. We need energy to push a nail into the wall. Take a look at this picture. We also need energy to make a ball roll like this. Another one. Energy is also needed to make, to make a pinwheel turn. Take a look. So these are the uses of energy. Okay, now let's move on to lesson two, energy transfer. The learning aims are to learn that energy cannot be made, lost, used up, or destroyed, but it can be transferred. Take note. To learn also that all energy is transferred from one object to another and some energy can be transferred to the environment. So look at here for listen trigger, look at this picture. 
what energy you can find here? Can you find light energy, sound energy, or heat energy? Share your answer, children, during our class. All right. So, can energy be transferred from one object to another? What do you think? All right. So, light energy, children, is the only form of energy that we can see and take note. As what I mentioned earlier, light travels in a straight line as a wave through the air. We see because light enters our eyes. So, light travels in a straight line directly into our eyes. Sound energy is transferred through sound waves from its source such as a drum to another object. Can you give another example of sound energy? Reserve your answers during our class. All right. Heat energy can be transferred from one from hot objects to polar objects. So this is a flame of fire. So heat energy is present from this. So it can be transferred to cooler objects. So for our TikTok, take a look here. What can you see in this picture? Yes, this is a lamp or a bulb. So normal, normal lamps or light bulbs use energy to give off light. But a lot of energy is also transferred to the surrounding environment as heat. LED lamps, are you familiar with LED lamps? They are energy efficient lamps. This means that they use less energy to give off light compared to normal lamps. They lose a very little heat to the surroundings environment so the temperature of the room does not increase by much when the, lamp, when the lamps are switched on. So they also last longer than normal lamps. So when we buy light bulbs or lamps, make sure we will use the LED lamps. Okay, for our science at work. So look at this picture. These are, they are scientists. So oil, natural gas, and coal are called fossil fuels. Are you familiar with fossil fuels? So these fuels are burned for energy and they take millions of years to, to form them and will run out once they are used. Renewable energy scientists focus on using energy that can be transferred from wind, moving water, and the sun. Wind, moving water, and sunlight have what have renewable energy and they will not run out. So when we say renewable energy, they are the clean, clean energy because it does not release smoke, harmful gases, chemicals, and into the environment. So the fossil fuel, the oil, the coal, they are what we call non-renewable energy because once we are going to use those uh, fuels, they will be run out. We can, they cannot be replaced anymore. Okay. Okay, P4, that's all about chapter 6, energy. I will discuss more about this chapter during our class. Thank you for watching P4 and I hope that you'll learn a lot in this video. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy your day.